if you've got a fireplace at home and you've collected your own wood, you've probably noticed that some timbers burn differently to others. When I lived in the southwest of Western Australia, this was exactly the case. And it was the Jarrah wood that was the most sought after because it burnt really hot and it kept our homes toasty and warm. My research is all about how different downed woods, branches and logs, how they burn. And this is important for so many reasons. For example, it can affect the amount of carbon that's emitted to the atmosphere. It also affects the habitat for many plants and animals. In the bush, it's exactly the same. Different timbers burn differently. And my research is all about how down wood, whether it's a log or a branch, how that burns. And this is important for so many reasons. For example, it affects the amount of carbon that's released to the atmosphere. And it also affects the habitat for different plants and animals. The log and branch material on the ground can contribute as much as 80% of what's burnt in a bushfire. And together with fire and land management agencies, we've been working in the field to determine what factors are affecting the different rates of consumption. We're also hoping to conduct some experiments in a fire wind tunnel here at CSIRO. The results of this research will allow fire and land management agencies to better predict the total amount of fuel consumed in both prescribed fires and wildfires. It will also allow them to better plan for things like expected fire behaviour, smoke emissions, air quality, mop-up difficulty, and perhaps even reignition potential. I love the Australian bush and after completing my PhD I hope to continue doing fire research. I hope to keep on assisting fire and land management agencies better understand and predict the effects that forest fuels have on fire behaviour, especially at a time where climate change is likely to mean that there's more extreme fire danger days each year. <laughs>